been a long, long time. But I'm trying to get better. So hopefully I can start coming out more videos. I go to Houston this weekend, so I'll be vlogging that. So that's something. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. But I do plan on being more proactive on YouTube. So we're starting here. So today I'm gonna be doing my wash day routine. And it's gonna be a little bit different from my actual wash routine because I'm missing a few products. So yeah, I guess we just go ahead and get to the video. I don't wanna ramble too much. And let's go. So as of lately, I've been wearing my wig. It's probably like two or three days, but still. So my hair is in braids over that. So I guess I can just get comfortable. Guys, I'm gonna take this off. My hair is not secured. I have like four bobby pins in here. I didn't even glue it down. But y'all can't see that part anyway, so it's okay. So usually I like to use a specific shampoo. I got it from um Admo Adwo. I'll just put a picture or something if I can. I really love that shampoo because it really makes your hair feel so soft. But since I don't have it at the moment, <laughs> it's too <your> late. <laughs> Okay, so you guys can see I'm taking down my braids at this moment. I've had them in for like about, I guess, two, three days. And, yeah. Okay, so now I'm about finally done taking down my braids, you know. Look at my head full of hair. Right now I'm doing a little length check. I'm pointing at my collarbone. And it's a little bit past that. <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> so now I'm just rinsing my hair before I put in the shampoo. Okay, at this moment, I'm not exactly sure why I wring out my hair. It's just something I do. But this is the shampoo that I use. I give me a pretty good amount. And I just rub it in through my hair. I don't have a specific way that I put it in. I just, you know, massage it through my hair. Make sure it's fall foamy and everything. And I give me about like three, four squirts. Pretty generous amount until it's all foamy. And as I'm doing this, I'm also sectioning it to make sure I get everywhere. And then I'm also detangling, as you can see right here, my nappy hair. <laughs> I almost broke my fingers, but that's what I'm doing. So I decided to show you guys what my hair looks like with the shampoo in it. I'm not really sure why, but I did anyway. Enjoy. So now I'm washing out the shampoo that's in my hair, and then I'm going to condition Now, when I'm conditioning my hair, I give me about probably three to five big squirts because it's conditioned. I want to make sure my hair is very conditioned. And as I do with the shampoo, I'm also going to be sectioning my hair, make sure I get everywhere. And also detangling as I go through with it. So as you just saw, I was detangling my hair and now you can see that I'm doing the sections. And I'm also massaging my scalp, you know, trying to stimulate some hair growth. Okay, so now I'm showing you guys how my hair looks with the conditioner. And then I'm also collecting all my loose hair that has fell out. Make sure you get that because it will clog up the drain. Then I switch my water to cold so it can help keep the moisture in. So now that I'm done conditioning and shampooing, I know that's backwards, but now that I'm done, it's time for deconditioning. So I'm getting out the shower and I'm making sure I dry my hair with a old t-shirt instead of um, a towel. I forgot exactly what they said happens, but anyway, this is my natural curl pattern without any product on it. I have a little bit of heat damage in the front as you'll see in just a couple seconds. Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> Now 
now it's time for deep conditioner this is not my usual one but i still use it i give me a pretty good amount because deep conditioning is very very important so i'm gonna apply a pretty generous amount maybe like four to five i'm not even gonna give you all a number because i don't know this is the heat damage right here that's my heat damage it's horrible i don't know why i haven't cut it off yet but anyway back to the deep conditioner i apply it everywhere all over my head then i go back in sections to make sure it's applied well Okay, so since I don't have one of those heated caps or whatever for the deep conditioning, I just use a plastic bag. So hopefully it can generate some type of heat, moisture, I don't know. But I put that on there and then I layer it with my head scarf. Then I layer that with my bonnet and I layer that with a hat. So hopefully it can generate some type of heat, you know. I don't exactly know what I'm trying to say, but you know, like you know. So after I do this, I let the deep conditioner sit in my hair for like an hour, Texas, you know. <laughs> so now I'm back. I'm taking everything off so I can now rinse everything out. Okay, so when I rinse out my deep conditioner, I also use cold water because it helps seal in some of the moisture. Well, a lot of the moisture. So now I'm done and I'm drying my hair off with a towel. Not towel, t shirts, t shirts, no towels. So, this is my hair looking all types of rough. All types of rough. So, I usually put in a leave-in conditioner, then my oil. So, right now, I'm just going throughout my hair, putting out, well, putting in the leave-in conditioner. So when I spread the leave-in conditioner throughout my head, um, it doesn't really matter about the amount. I just be squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. It's actually lasts me a pretty long time. But even though I detangle throughout the whole process, I still go through my comb and detangle as well, which makes like a big old afro puff and you'll see it in like, I don't know, a couple seconds, I guess. So at this point, I'm all picked out, my leave-in conditioner is all spread through, and I'm ready to oil my scalp. I use the black cast Jamaican black castor oil with peppermint in it, because I heard it like stimulates the scalp or stimulates hair growth or something like that, so that's why I use that. Now when I apply the oil, I just get the bottle, I put my comb in it, and then I just rub it on my scalp, and then as you can see now. And then once I get done applying oil to the whole part, I go back in with my fingers and I massage it. Now, this would have been lovely if I could have kept going, but I ran out of Jamaican black castor oil. So only half my head is going to have oil, but it's okay. So... I usually style it if I'm doing something or I don't need to go somewhere. But usually I don't wash my hair before I go anywhere. Usually I'm just wrapping it up and going home. So I'm just twisting it. And I'm going to twist my whole head. And I'm just going to wrap it back up and go back to sleep. 
So past time, I was watching Alyssa Ashley in her mystery makeup. I believe it was like YouTuber or makeup artist edition. I don't know. And during my hour break, I was also watching Messy Monday. You know, I love me some good entertainment. Yes, honey, look at my moisturized and clean twist. They just hanging and I look cute. <laughs> but anyway, now I get my hair scarf and then I'm just gonna wrap it to lay my everything down. I have to lay my everything down. And then after that, I put on my bonnet and I'm good to go.